Rico is now bracing for a direct hit from Tropical Storm Dorian. The National Hurricane Center says Dorian's track has significantly changed overnight. Dorian is now expected to strike the eastern side of the island of Puerto Rico and Vieques. Then the storm is forecast to strengthen into a category two or stronger hurricane, making landfall on Florida's east coast this week. Um. So this will be the first hurricane that I go through completely um, that I will actually remember fully in great detail, fortunately by myself as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. All right, uh, now that we covered my whole thought process on Dorian, now let's carry on to the vlog where I'm preparing myself for the worst. Good uh, good morning, guys. Welcome back to a new video. I hope you all have an amazing day so far. I woke up really early this morning. It's about 8, 8.30, and uh, I got an alert on my phone saying that Hurricane Dorian is on its way. First hurricane I will ever go through. Now, this hurricane, uh, by the time it reaches Florida, it'll be a category two. And I do want to mention something as of about four hours pre-recording this video. Hurricane Dorian actually got upgraded to a category three, meaning that the wind speeds have not only increased, but as well as storm damage and storm sur it, it's bad. Which means it's about a hundred mile per hour wind speed. So I'm actually going to end up going to Walmart with Fletcher to go get the, the supplies we need. This will be the, I think, second hurricane that I've been through. The first one was like a category three. The, the most that I have to worry about is definitely wind, rain, and tornadoes at the most, because obviously I'm not at the coast, so I don't have to worry about storm surge or massive flooding, but obviously rain, I mean, it'll, it'll be for days. So my worst fear is that these windows right here will most likely break because they're so thin. Like that, that, that's just the, the harsh reality of it that I do think those windows will break. So um, yeah, it's, it's not something to mess with. I'm a little bit scared, but at the same time, like I'm actually kind of excited to go through a hurricane, but it's the tornado part because we don't, like I said, we would get the tornado part rather than anything else. So Fletcher's coming over right now. We're going to go to Walmart, get all the stuff. Hopefully they're not sold out. I was over here thinking because it was still a tropical depression. I was like, it's probably just going to phase over us. But no, it's, it's, it's coming towards us with the category two. So that's strong enough for me. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and go and get the, the supplies I need. So I will catch back with the vlog later. All right, so we're in the car and uh, we're headed to Walmart. It's only about a few minutes more away and uh, we're gonna stock up, stock up on some goods, peeps. These are the Walmart shelves. It's amazing how quickly they ran out. What I was gonna suggest is that you fill up your bathtub because it's drinkable water. F clean it first, obviously. Fill your bathtub up, put the drain in, the thing, and then, um, yeah. dr and then drink that. So what are you supposed to take a shower with in the meantime? Like, you won't because be you won't have water. Well, no, but you're supposed, I mean, take a shower before the storm hits because you're still Sh gonna have water. Yeah, shower up until like right before the storm hits and then when you think it's about a good time, fill your bathtub with water, clog it up, make sure your bathtub is clean and then that will be your drinking water. Get a pitcher to scoop it out and put it in the sink if you want to do dishes, etc, etc. Here's my thing. That's why you also don't use a lot of dishes. So anything that doesn't require dishes, you just don't use. Paper plates and plastic silverware. Well, I, I don't have any of that, so that's unfortunate. Well, I do. But What? <laughs> you get chief? So guys, the um, the hurricane's about, I'd say 1,600 miles away from us, so it's not even hit Puerto Rico yet. And the clouds, I think, are already starting to come in, but it's uh, it's hard to say if that really is the case. It but is actually hit Puerto Rico. Many, many really, waters. You're really embarrassed. Okay, hey guys, so we got back from Walmart. Um, as you guys saw, they were cleaned out. The next Walmart that's closest would be about 15 minutes away. And we didn't bother going there, so we just went to Publix. And we did end up finding water. It wasn't a lot, but it was more than what I expected. So right now, uh, Fletcher actually got two, actually four gallons of just regular spring water. And um, the rest are in the fridge, because I, I told him, you know what, I'd be kind enough. Um, we got more water down here. Honestly, I drink about one or two bottles a day, and given that it's supposed to hit roughly this weekend, it's not going to be that bad because essentially um, they are predicting that it will go right through us now, be right through Orlando, and that's exactly pretty much where I live. Um, so essentially, 
meaning that I should be good on water because honestly cooking and stuff um, I'm I'm a health freak I, I don't want to just keep eating the same thing over and over again even though I do already I'm trying to change up my menu um, right now I don't know how much non-perishable is because like I mean I have cereal I can have that um, and this is the thing I don't eat much during the day it's just at night when I do so I mean I do have mac and cheese which I mean that'll last me a few um, Good thing is, I can actually make pancakes, so that's actually not terrible. So, given that I can do that, that's not terrible either. Um, I can probably still make hamburger pie and everything, because essentially that doesn't really take water. There are some meals that don't take water, or a lot of water, I should say. Um, and, and again, that's why I bought so many water bottles. I mean, unfortunately, I have to do that. I'd rather buy gallons, but there just was not enough gallons. I would have rather to buy, like, the gallons that were, like, this big. Like, I'm talking about two, three gallons worth or something, but they didn't have any of those left. So, I'm pretty sure we're good on water at this point. I mean, this is all my water. I mean, obviously, Fletcher could have some if he wants, but he bought four gallons, and I'm pretty sure this is definitely more than four gallons. I'm just pre preparing for the worst, so... Um, essentially, as you guys know, hurricanes, once they hit land, I mean, they dissipate rather quickly. They, they just go from, like, say, a Category 4 to a Category 2 to, you know, the next day to Category 1. So, it's, it rapidly decreases, but it's that, that hours of, hours of waiting to have that storm be gone. So, I'm, I'm guessing I'd probably have to use about a bottle or two of water for cooking, but, um, th this is, like, my, I would say, second hurricane I've been through. The first one was actually in Miami with my aunt, I think. And that one I was too young for to even realize that it was like that. Um, I would have been through three with Irma because me and my family, like all my family, so like me, my twin sister, my dad, my mom, we were all vacationing down there in Florida in uh, the Key West. I thought I'm in actually perfect color now. Essentially what happened was it was about, I think, literally five days after we left, Hurricane Irma hit that island directly and it was literally the eye of the storm was literally the entire island So it was scary. So I would have been through three and I'm glad I wasn't through three because I, I have to say After visiting the south the southernmost continental point in the US Which is actually a big lie because technically it's not it's just connected by a, a huge bridge that thing was destroyed So I, I can't even imagine how the houses over there would be like but anyways, I think we have enough water now it's just a matter of waiting. Um, I'm debating on whether or not to board up the, the windows or not because the problem is my apartment faces like all the wind and all the storms and there's not a whole lot breaking the wind because, let me let me just show you guys this if you guys can see. So, yeah, we do have a little pond here but as you guys can see, we have a little break from like some woods but in reality is like if you know wind, it'll go up, it'll go down and it'll get stronger, go up, create more wind and then create more of a downforce. I mean, check this out. I, I, when Fletcher's here, I'll give you more of an example but like, just by like pushing on this, it's warping the window. So like, I would have to get Fletcher over here to show you guys how bad it can be warped. And I'm just, you know, just from a slight push, I can't even imagine what 100, 100 mile an hour plus winds would do. Again, this storm is about 300 miles off of um, the, or it's about 100 miles off of the coast and about 300 to 400 miles from us. Given that it's a category two, it's probably not gonna be so severe, but I don't wanna end up jinxing that, so, as, again, as of right now, this is just a vlog to say, hey, this is what we're doing to prepare for Hurricane Dorian. And that's about it, because other than that, I honestly don't even know if I'm going to be able to upload. Because if we lose internet, we may lose internet for weeks at a time. And then I could just tweet out. So if you guys don't already follow me on Twitter or Instagram, go ahead and click the links down below. Um, I will also produce something on Rumble if that allows me to. But anyways, it's about 10 o'clock right now, so... I just gave you guys a little bit of an update of what we did early in the morning, and uh, we'll just see what the rest of the day has planned for us. So guys, prepare for a hurricane. Let me tell you this a little bit of stories. So this is going to be like quick. So we went to Publix. There was this middle-aged couple, and they're telling us all about this stuff. And I was like, how many hurricanes have you been through? And they're like, seven. I'm like, what? You've been through seven hurricanes? And I'm over here like thinking like this is this has got to be a lie, but no, they said they lived in Puerto Rico, they moved to Miami, they moved to Orlando, and I'm like, wow, because if you guys know this, if you know anything about hurricanes, Puerto Rico and that Caribbean always get hit by a hurricane because it's just warm water, it's just a warm source of water, like the Gulf of Mexico, everything gets pushed out there. Like Katrina, that was in Louisiana, that was in the Gulf of Mexico, it was bad. So, um, it can erupt like that. Um, as you guys know, I get a lot of anxiety when storms come, because as you guys can see, I'm literally always 
you know, whether it's on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Rumble, whatever. I'm always showing you guys, look at the weather, it's so bad. And you guys can tell my anxiety gets super, super high. Because when I see dark clouds and they're scary and they're ominous and just slowly approaching you, that's the problem with the hurricane. It goes so slow, but like you think that it's going to end in a day, but it doesn't. Um, that's the one biggest problem is the fact of that happening. Just to, to see all the clouds, you know, it just gives me anxiety for that. But I know that since I'm so far inland that I know it won't happen that bad. But we just got a word that the hurricane's actually going to go right through the state. All right, all right, all right. Listen here. It's about uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not going to lie. No, no more news updates about the hurricane yet. Just a lot and a lot of alerts and warnings saying, hey, Hurricane Dorian has been this and that. And it's like, you know, obviously they're trying to precaution everybody and give everyone the time to prepare themselves. Especially the coastline because people live on the coastline. Anyways, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. All it is is just to uh, show the preparation of what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to vlog every time or every day for the uh, the next few days until um, Hurricane Dorian passes because I actually do want to document this and I want to share it online to those of you who may be thinking about moving down to Florida or anywhere tropical and want to know more about hurricanes. So I'm going to just document my life on the, the intercoastal or the inland I should say for what you should do, what you should not do. Obviously, you know, I think every, everybody with a hurricane, doesn't matter if you're on the coast or not, always get water. But guys, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to your channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Whoa.